my parents who are uh, 88 and 89 who live in South Florida, the east coast of South Florida, where obviously there's a large population of seniors, uh, live independently in a condo that they've lived in for over 20 years. And up until this past summer, we're completely independent with my father still driving. In a period of about two months, a lot significantly changed. My father's developed early dementia. He can no longer drive. During the summer, my mother required emergency surgery. She ended up in a skilled facility and rehab facility for six weeks. My brother and I were convinced that they probably would need to go to assisted living. And we really didn't know in that area where to turn, what were the right, what were the best places, what were the right questions to ask, you know, what do we need to know to make an informed decision. Fortunately, we've been able to keep them in their condo with, a, I'll say, a patchwork of caregivers and uh, people who are helping them out. I live a, a long distance away. My brother lives two hours from them. Uh, but uh, we've been able to put together a, a group of individuals who uh, meet their needs today. But as my brother always says to me and reminds me, we're always one phone call away from the next crisis and not knowing what to do next. So we're always trying to prepare and understand what the next steps would be. So being a caregiver is a difficult role. A typical caregiver is female uh, in their 40s or 50s. Many caregivers work and have to juggle being a caregiver with that work. Caregiving can take anywhere from 10 to 30 hours a week. It can become almost a second job or second full-time job. So there's a lot of stress associated with it. You know, just in conclusion, I, I stumbled across a, a quote that was in the you know, Wall Street Journal yesterday. It was in an ad that I thought might be appropriate here. And the quote is from an ancient Greek physician, and, and it goes, when health is absent, wisdom cannot reveal itself, art cannot become manifest, strength cannot be exerted, wealth is useless, and reason is powerless. So in the face of that situation, who's going to pick up those issues and the pieces, and it's the caregiver. And that's that role, and that individual needs all the support that they can get. 